Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Chair. So let me go back to the discussion when the governor's office came in and testified against this bill. They were terribly misinformed. And I shared that information with them. And it wasn't the governor's office that's misinformed. It was these two people that testified that were misinformed. Yesterday we heard also about a letter that many of us received from, from Canada. This will do nothing. This is part of the trade agreement. We have the trade agreement with, with Canada. We are doing business with Canada. We are doing business with Qatar and the fields in Qatar. This does nothing. And they were misinformed. When I tell you, friends, that I worked with the International Trade Office in the 2000, 2001, I, and my goal is to support international trade, I do. But friends, is it fair? You tell me, is it fair when we manufacture steel in Pueblo that, and, and, and then we have to work with China and, and, all, of, and, all, of the, and all of the Chinese steel is, is given, so, they were, they're given so much extra money, support to do their work in transportation, bring it over, we are at a disadvantage. Why should we, in the state of Colorado, quite frankly, ruin our, ruin our steel industry in Pueblo? Why can't we enhance that industry? Why do we have to have them compete with the Chinese? You know, quite frankly, I don't get it. I don't get it at being a, 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 at a disadvantage. It has nothing, it will do nothing to ruin our relationship with any other country that is part of the World Trade Organization. Nothing. Other states, this is, as I said, Illinois put this together back in the 90s. And I want to make another thing perfectly clear to all of you. Most of us bring most of us are asked by different departments or different agencies or different organizations to come and lobby for them on their legislation, to bring legislation. This is my own legislation. You need to know that. This is my own legislation. My constituents have been coming to me for the past four years. Joyce, why can't we do something? Why can't we do something about bringing manufacturing back to the United States? I am not carrying the water for business, obviously, who seem to be against it. Labor likes it now. Changes were made. They've been helpful because they've, they've informed me about a couple of different things. It has nothing. This will not help labor. This will help all of us. The people of Colorado, the people of the United States of America. Sometimes we have to begin to look out for ourselves first. You know when you're on an airplane and the, and the flight attendant says, when the oxygen comes down, put your mask on first so you can help the people sitting next to you? We've got to help ourselves first in this case. We have to help ourselves first so that we can help the people sitting next to us. I think it's a very, very important bill for all of us that represent constituents in this great state of Colorado.